Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 76 of my Dire Wolf 21.18. Let's play. <laughs> We're back here today. Um, did some progression into the refined storage mod. Let's go have a look and see what I've been up to. Uh, I did do uh, quite a bit of rearranging. I took the the pulverizer and the furnace and moved them over to here and added crafters to them. Um, I also added see the crafter manager and the crafting monitor and a couple more well maybe one more uh crafter down there you can just barely see it i put them down there just to get them a little bit out of the way also i moved the ender chest and put it down here and put an importer on it that's hooked up to an interface. So this should just suck everything in into, actually, I don't even think we need the interface. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I just thought of that we don't really need the interface because once the importer gets it, it's into the system. So I'll probably replace this with another crafter uh, once I get one. Uh, but I put an external storage and I kind of consolidated all of the uh, <laughs> the drawers down here into one system with this guy. So you can see they're all connected to this one instead of them being all on separate ones from the chest. So it makes it a lot easier to see all the stuff and things that are stored. I do have four more uh, here, and I need to um, yeah, I need to I can probably get rid of these guys because they're no longer functioning. Uh, I'll have to reset them up to do the things I want. Like this is just destroying regular bows and stone swords um, because of the uh, when we kill the wither skeletons they throw stone swords into the system and I did not uh, want it getting because especially the way that I had it before where it was all in these chests where all I had is this one chest to store the swords in, and once that got full, it would just go here and then fill this up. So, I will probably remove those and add more, more drawers, and I may even put another row in over here to see what else I can squeeze in, and there and there. Yeah, I think that would be pretty good. Um. And yeah, here's the two crafters. I have them filled up with some basic recipes, um, just so that I uh, don't have to keep doing those. All right, let's let's get our little doodad and put it away. Oh yeah, I'm so happy. I also made a 64k storage disk. Check it out um, our 16k got full and so I made a 64k put it in there and then extracted everything in the disk manipulator back to the system uh, I also had to make a new um, speed upgrade and stack upgrade because I stole these to put them in into the the importer that's on the ender chest, so it would have a stack upgrade. Because we definitely need it on the ender chest, especially if we get quarry going. Uh, we might have to actually put, uh, like, I don't know, can you put more than one stack upgrade? Will it pull 
two stacks at a time if you put two stack upgrades in there. Um, I haven't ever actually tested that. I love it. Um, now that I got the ground basically where I want it, I'm probably going to go in and add some more trees. I was thinking of maybe even putting in some extra wheel blockers just here and there uh, because I lost the one that was in front of the house. But I definitely think I could use another one like out here. Uh, because this isn't lit up very well. And I find a lot of the times that if I come over to here, just all the zombies from here just swarm down to here. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, what I want to do today is I would like to get another 64K bribe because I've got a lot of stuff to throw into the system still. All of these things and all the chests upstairs. I'd like to get all of those emptied out into the system uh, so that everything is visible. <laughs> everything that I have is here. So if I have it, I know I have it. Um, yeah, so let's look at... Oh, you're the wrong guy. Factor manager. Um... I would definitely like to automate crafters, but first I definitely want to automate uh, a 64K drive. That would be super duper. So uh, let's mark these back. What do we got? A 1K storage, uh, 4K, a 16K, and then a 64K. I definitely like to get that done today and then maybe um, you know fill this thing up with 64 K's and then later I can go back and upgrade those with the reborn storage ones <laughs> oh uh, yeah I accidentally uh, all these gigabytes and they're not actually gigabytes they're their megs like this one's a meg I always call it a gig uh, because I think that the other ones are smaller so they should be the megs <laughs> so I just assume that this one would be a gig but it doesn't say M it says K so my bad I called it a gig and, and it's only a meg um, but yeah, so let's try to get these into, do we have enough? Yes, we have enough patterns. That was the first thing that I automated or put in the auto crafter was more patterns. Uh, so let's see, what do we got here? This is nothing that we have to make. Well, we do have to make quartz enriched iron. Uh, so let's make sure everything isn't anything wonky like I had one of my recipes show up with mana glass in it I was like uh why can't it just default to glass and then if you want it to be something different than like the default vanilla glass then you can change it to something else I hate it that it just cycles through everything everything <laughs> um okay so these we all have the crafters for, and I set it up to where it can, so it can craft the, uh, the basic processor, the raw basic processor. And now that I have the furnace hooked up, it can also cook these. So, yay! Um, and then 16K. Uh, the same thing with the approved processors. Um, and 64K. Oh, yes, this is going to be so great. Oh, let's sleep. And I, <laughs> I have to sleep down here now with my sleeping bag because I moved my bed up to the tippy top. Uh, I kind of wanted to 
reuse this area so I cleared out the, the crafting tables, the bed, and, and the smithing table, the modification table, and the anvils. None of these take power, so I just kind of move them up here. Sweet. Um, let's put it in our crafting manager. So 1k, 4k, 16, and 64 yes <laughs> so now we can come in here and go 64 and let's craft one. Oh, we're missing glass but that's okay because we actually have more glass it's just this is here we can uh get that but all right, let's try this again. Four and boom. Oh yeah, check it out. Now this isn't too bad. We have to make uh, 27 because we need uh, three 16Ks and they took nine uh, 1K storage each. So just a little bit of math. So let's get this guy started. And uh, we can go to the crafter monitor to see, and it shows all the things that, that it's making. Uh, I think the green is for, it's completed, and the yellow is what it's currently working on, and then it's got the process. Oh, it finished. Oh, 64. Oh, yeah. Now what we can do is we can pop our 16 okay. oh sorry if you hear that squeaky squeaky door noise I, I didn't know I had a squeaky door until my cat decided to <laughs> uh, go op open it she's exploring right now we just got into our new place she's starting to feel a little bit more comfortable about being here uh, getting used to it so there we go we got our two 64k storage drives and we got this extra 16k so now I put that in there and do another 64k oh yeah because we got tons of glass now um I need to get I need to get it to where have my silicon being stored and be get uh, put into the system from the material stoneworks factory because I have it down here it's just it's, it's got power but it's not it's not it's not storing anything so it's getting full and then stopping so I need that to get connected I really don't like having these little things but I guess I could try and replace this with um, a dimensional cell instead of a battery and that might be a little bit better I just don't want this to run out of power and I'm really thinking um Where's all my stuff? And why didn't you? Oh, because that's not that's not hooked up anymore. Uh, so perhaps I guess it doesn't matter because this tank is almost full, and I need to get all of this hooked onto the new system so that it'll work. All my all my nodes are worthless now because nothing is going through there. Uh, so yeah, I might as well just uh, take those off. Um, yeah, so now since we have the have to do, we could probably redo some of this in a different way. 
or we might be able to reuse the laser IO stuff. It's really super cool. I like it. I mean, I'm surprised. I think laser IO is the reason why I didn't immediately try to jump into digital storage because it's just such a really good mod. I, I really like what, they, uh, what Dire Wolf did with this mod. Um, it's pretty awesome. All right, um, let's get some more of these, I guess. Ah! <laughs> um, I'll fix these later, I guess. Um, since we're tearing it down, we might as well get miscellaneous, a miscellaneous chest. Um, yeah, still got a bunch more of those to go, but I do want to get these set up. I probably will set these up to the refined storage system um, somehow and get them to do the things that they were previously doing, uh, like going through the system and pulling out like the raw mutton and the raw beef, sending it over there. Um, I'm debating uh, whether or not I want it to do that, or maybe I should make like a sub basement here and put some more storage drawers uh, to store everything centrally and then use the um, use the wireless transmitters to get my system to a different place. Where are they? There's the wireless net network transmitter, network receiver. Uh, well, they're not. They don't say wireless, but they're wireless. <laughs> you can take one of these, uh, a network transmitter, put it onto your system, um, and then you can link these two together. You could go place down your network receiver many, many, many blocks away, and then it will give you wireless access or basically access to the rest of your system which is really awesome. I like it. <laughs> um, that's basically what I want to do, but these are kind of pricey. They have uh, a netherite ingot as an ingredient for the receiver. And the transmitter also takes a netherite ingot. Uh, so we do have some netherite or some ancient debris still, but yeah, I don't know that I'm rich enough in that yet. I don't have infinite amounts of it. I still kind of want to see how I want to automate the ancient debris. Uh, because there are, there are several ways I believe you could do it. You could do it with just putting a quarry in the nether. Um, the, the, the digital miner. You could do, uh, Batania has that flower that can, is like a miner. It converts in an area just like the orchard does to stone. It will turn netherrack into netherrack ore. So then you could have it turn netherrack into an ore and then mine that ore. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And you can also do the mine colonies. I, <laughs> I really want to do mine colonies, but I know if I start it, I am going to be like 100% into mine colonies and not be able to, <laughs> not be able to do anything else. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to, how much time we got about? I'm going to go through all these cards and uh, resync them so that they're blank uh, and take out all their uh, filters and, and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to do that real quick 
and then I'll be back for our next step. Okay, and we're back. I think I figured out where I want to go next. Um, I would really like a wireless crafting grid. Uh, I think that would be super duper swell. And my only problem is I don't have a way to charge this wirelessly. Um, so I might have to make some sort of portable battery to carry around with me to keep it charged because it's got a pretty small uh, it's got a pretty small energy bank in there 3200 at uh, so it won't it won't last for very long if I don't have some sort of extra power to feed it so sketch you away um, this looks pretty simple. Uh, we can do the wireless transmitter. Oh, are we all out? Oh, I can't do that there. I mean, I could, but control click. And attempt, edit, edit. Oh, I'm all out. I'm all out of this <laughs> rich iron already. I have made so many extra stacks just making up all of those uh, crafters and the disk drive because they all take up. Well, to be fair, only the tier ones take take it but well actually it's just one okay it's just one per yeah i made a lot of machines so i went through i went through quite a bit of stuff uh, yeah i need you now so we're going to need the grid, just another, oh man, another machine casing. That's a lot, a lot of steps. A grid, uh, I don't, I didn't teach it how to do the destruction cords and maybe I should do that real quick we sleep Let's teach it the destruction core um, what's the other core called destruction nope uh, the construction duh so Ooh, got you. Since it already knows how to make the basic processors, uh, you're good to go. Crafter manager. Got to go. We're going to need another crafter. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. That's okay. I can make another one. Uh, crafting grid. Now. We should be able to control click for that. And maybe it's done now. No. Nope. <laughs> I clicked the wrong button. I didn't mean to do that. So, boom, move items. There's our grid. Don't know if I have a crafting table in here, I guess. We'll find out. A grid we have. Oh, yes, we do. Nice. There's a crafting grid. And then we'll click to make some more. And now we got the wireless crafting grid. Uh, now we can charge it up. 
and I put some upgrades in here because let me tell you charging this mining gadget on there at the base speed is is pretty horrible uh, what are you doing I think there's yeah at least some go away um we can place this wireless transmitter anywhere on our system. I don't think it, it doesn't do it like a normal torch. You can't like put it on the side of something. I think I, think I tried that in my ocean block. And I, oh yeah, it does. <laughs> it just sticks straight out instead of going up. So I know I think it'd be okay right there. So let's test this out. Can I get it? Can I get it? No, no. Oh, that's right. Uh, I think you have to go into this guy. Do you put it over here? Or do you just like click it? Ha ha ha! Yes! Success! We now have mobility! Uh, that is super duper awesome. Um, I think this may replace my mining gadget though. You know what I might do? Is I might keep this and get rid of my wand. Or at least put it away temporarily. Do I even have? Yeah, there. There we go. Good, it's new. Oh, I love this. Awesome. So we got a wireless crafting grid, we got increased storage. Uh, for our drives. Uh, what we can do, I guess we got a few more minutes. I think I want to make another 64k drive. 64. Ooh. Oh, we have one. Oh, that's right, because I had the extra 16k that I went ahead and made another one for and just completely forgot about. So we need one of our little casings storage housing wops. oh I forgot that takes it out put it in like this uh, I wonder can you like if you put it here can you just go oh, no no you can't do that um, what's cool is if I make one more 64K, I could probably upgrade to the next tier in the Reborn Storage. I kind of don't want to get into that just yet. What is it? The 256? Yes. Yeah, that's not bad uh, because we have all of these recipes, so we could technically just do one recipe to teach it this. Um, I just don't think we have the iron to do this right now. <laughs> um, I mean, I think I would feel comfortable maybe making another 64K and just having it in here. That would give us quite a bit of storage. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and make one more 64K. Okay. Ah, uh, and it's missing uh, some silicon, but we should have some down here waiting for us. This is why I need to get this hooked up, because uh, going forward, we're going to be using a lot more silicon. Just do this, boop, and boop. It would be cool if I could have, like, uh, 
Oh, I guess I could have started that down there. Oh, it's not in range. Um, we need to get some range upgrades, I guess, for this thing. And that will, because I think base is like 16 blocks. Um, so let's do this. 64. First, mobile 64K crap. <laughs> uh, and we can go check our crafting washer to see how that's doing um i'm not sure yes you can put upgrades in here for the crafting or the crafters uh, which is pretty cool so if you get one that you have to make a lot of things in consistently you can you could put upgrades in there for them where are you, buddy? Oh, it's ready already. We need another housing. Oop, not hop house. I guess I need to teach it this recipe too. Oop. Dude. Oh yeah, I know we got 256k storage. Uh, this means that in between episodes, I'm probably going to empty out all of these chests and the ones upstairs, clear away all of the nodes, uh, and <laughs> then, then once we get that in, we can start, I guess, branching out and uh, in expanding our storage system in in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> so, yes. Wireless crafting grid, check. 64k storage, check. We're doing good. Uh, I'm probably going to hold off on the wither battle until I can get this all sorted and then once we get the wither battle done I, I then need to do the Wilden Chimera fight which didn't seem too bad I saw Dire Wolf do it in his let's play and uh, you know I pretty much have all the equipment that he has. Uh, I have the angel ring to fly. I have a good, well, I think it's a decent weapon. I have a really super awesome bow. <laughs> I really like the bow. Um, it, uh, it also, it casts harm on the mobs. So anytime I fire the bow, it also has to harm, uh, at, with, at, at, which also puts a dot on them and it amplifies it times two. So that's pretty good. And it's got quick draw too. I wish I had the three, but I haven't, I happened to have the quick draw two book at the time. So I'll just put that on there. But anyway... We made leaps and bounds today. I'm very happy with our progress. Uh, we'll be getting up there to to do all of these things very quickly with having refined storage. It's so easy to set up auto crafting stations to do specific jobs to mass produce lots of things that you need. So I'm um, looking forward to getting some of that stuff done. All right. So we'll go ahead and we'll end the episode here. Um, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.